Hi, this is waterproof outdoor PoE switch. We can deploy this switch outside of the building and connect multiple devices such like the IP cameras, access point to this switch and use single Ethernet cable to link this switch back to the router. The maximum distance between the outdoor PoE switch and the router is 328 feet. And from this outdoor PoE switch to the edge device, we still have another 328 feet. Then we don't need to pull multiple cable from the router to each of these IP device. I know you may be thinking about the power. This is the switch also need the power, right? There's one great feature for this outdoor PoE switch. It can be powered by another PoE injector or PoE switch. This is the 90 watt PoE injector. It can inject 90 watt power to a single Ethernet cable and send to the outdoor PoE switch. So there are no need for power source around this outdoor PoE switch. Another scenario is if you already have an existing cable and you want to expand the RJ45 network port, but it's very difficult to wire the new cable from the router to this switch, then you can use the outdoor PoE switch because single cable can carry up to seven IP devices. Okay, now let's make a quick setup and put this outdoor PoE switch on the wall. The outdoor PoE switch totally have A port. The port number A can take the power from the PoE injector. So let me remove the cable from the camera. And I will put the cable through this grip. It will keep the water out of the PoE switch. Okay, let's just connect to the port number eight, which can take the power from the PoE injector or PoE switch. Now I can use the short punch code to link this other PoE port to the camera. I suppose to pass the cable through this gram, but in order to save time, I just will leave it there. The installation is quite simple. Okay, now let's move to the PoE injector. Like what I mentioned, this PoE injector will send the power through this cable coming from the switch. Let's just connect to the PoE port. Meanwhile, I use the short punch code to link the data port to our router. Last thing is the power. This is the AC power outlet. It can take the power code and get the power from the AC outlet. Once I connect the power, we can see the power indicators on. It will take a while, we can see the PoE port is on, which means the whole system is getting the power. You can see the pan tail zoom camera is doing the pan tail zoom. It's uh, checking. I think one of the cameras live now, this is the motorized zoom camera. It will take a while to find the best focus. It will zoom in and zoom out. So there's no need for any power source around the switch. Simply, we use the PoE injector to send the power from the router to the camera. And we can connect multiple devices. All right, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.